Just an ordinary February, slow, cold day at Mississippi State, North Mississippi, right? Sun was out though, people milling around campus, going to their classes, some folks doing a little walking around sightseeing, including me, checking out the construction of the new baseball field. And then you walk in the basketball arena, and uh, it's a sight to behold pregame without anybody in there much less later on when there's gonna be maybe 10,000 people in there. This is a rematch of last year's national championship game in women's basketball between Mississippi State and South Carolina. And this time, the difference is State is favored. And the State's head coach, Vic Schaefer, has never beaten South Carolina. You may have seen in the last video where I walked through this green room on my way here and this goes into the arena. Can't go in there right now because, I... excuse me. Hey, what's up? As I was saying, this is the green room and you walk through here, or I did anyway, you come through those doors and then it goes right on into the arena. Got practice going on or shoot around right now. I don't want to disturb them. But there's some really cool stuff in here. You have kind of uh, a little historical piece on uh, Jack Crystal. This is Jack Crystal, the legendary longtime voice of Mississippi State sports for 58 years. So from 1953 until 2011. And then a couple of uh, first round draft picks in the WNBA draft. Uh, Tan White and LaToya Thomas. LaToya Thomas was in school when I was here in the late 90s. And then shortly after that, Tan White. Uh, she was from Tupelo, um, so got the jerseys. Anyway, just thought I'd show you that. The calm before the storm. Every seat in the lower section of this arena has a t-shirt and a, uh, uh, a newspaper and a pom-pom uh, shaker uh, waiting on the fan who's gonna sit here. And every seat in the upper sections. Those are not all t-shirts, but they all get a shaker and they get a newspaper. It's a whiteout night here at the arena and the atmosphere is going to be incre incredible. Just a normal everyday February day on campus. Not really.